What's going on guys, Greg Meese, Chris Dyes. After the Romar Dennis, Miles Jones trade, we got a lot of requests to make a new summer status video for the new teams. So we've got Romar Dennis at the Redwoods and now Miles Jones at the Atlas. They both have some goals on the board in their first weeks for the new teams. So today we're gonna start out by dyeing Miles Jones a new setup and we also have some custom dyes for Romar. So I headed down to the dye lab, uh, started up a dye for Miles Jones. I was gonna do just a scoop fade with Atlas Blue. Mixed up some Carolina from Lax Dip, dunked it in there, did the scoop fade. Um, it turned out a little bit more royal than I was hoping, but honestly, I did the best I could. And I still think it looks really nice. I think it'll still match. I think the graphene gray made the Carolina blue a little bit darker. Um, but here we've got the setups for Miles Jones and the Atlas. Um, and we've also got Romar and the Redwoods. So as requested, we'll show you guys some new setups. I already sent Miles Jones a couple Atlas colored Mirage 2s right when he got traded. Seems like he's already using those. So I'll show you just a couple pictures on the screen so you can see what those look like. But I did this one so you could check out his pocket and I really want to do this dye, which again turned out just okay, a little bit royal. Uh, we got the blue fade to the gray with the USA medallion black ball stop. Got the MJ15 mesh in here, obviously. Did all black strings to make it pop a little bit more. Um, and then this is the pocket he's been using, like I showed in his other video. Um, it's a deep mid pocket with the shooters dropped a little bit in the head, so it has a lot of whip and a lot of hold. And you can see his windup is pretty big um, to get the ball out of there. But that's the Mirage 2. He's been using the Mirage 2 for years now. So updated look for him for the Atlas this year. Um, and then we've got a couple new ones. He's also using the Mirage 2. Um, and so this one, they're both done by JZAP, who does some of the best dyes out there. This neon yellow is insane. So picking up a little bit of the Redwoods, I think it's a tertiary color there. And then the popped out roll just on the front, which I love, which is really clean. Um, and then the rest is white. Got the green medallion, white ball stop. And this is his new signature pocket. Since the championship series, he went moved it a little bit higher. I think he just had a two pointer, let it fly on the run from outside as he is known to do. And then a nylon and two shooters up at the top. So that pocket's definitely a little bit higher for such a big guy like him with such a fast shot. You do need a little bit of a higher pocket and a little bit more whip. And I so see another detail there. He's got a little RD Romar Dennis logo right there. Then the other one, which is definitely my favorite, um, got the green to neon yellow fade, neon yellow RD pop with the bear logo up at the top there. Um, same thing, green medallion and ball stop. Same pocket, got a little fancy triangle top string going on here, um, but that's got that same high pocket. And you can actually get Romar Dennis's replica on our site with his new updated pocket in the Mirage too. So there's the new setups for one of the biggest trades of the season. Hope you guys liked them. Let me know which ones you like more. Honestly, it's not really fair me going up against Jay Zapp in a die because mine falls a little bit short. Unfortunately, I'm a little embarrassed, but uh, Jay Zapp does a great job. So let me know in the comments what you think. Stay tuned to the PLL for the rest of the season. Thanks for watching. And have a great day.